All right, my newest toy. This is the KSM PRA attachment set for the KitchenAid mixer. I personally have a six quart professional KitchenAid, so that's what I use this for. I can only really speak for this one. This comes with three pieces. This is just a pasta roller, and these are two cutters for fettuccine and spaghetti. I didn't use these yet. I will. Oh, I will. So last night I used this one just to roll out sheets of pasta for ravioli. So as you see on the side, you have one through eight, so you can adjust the thickness as you go. If your pasta sheets, you just kind of rotate until flush, and you do it incrementally from one until you get to the thickness that you like. Simple to use, it worked fine, no snags, nothing. It was great. You just flip the top, and mine is the one that flips up, you don't have to take it off and possibly lose it. You just flip the top, you put this in, line it up, and tighten the screw. <laughs> the first time I tightened the screw, I didn't tighten it enough, and this started going wee. so just make sure you tighten it well. Um, cleaning it is pretty simple. After about an hour, you let everything dry. You never submerge this in water or anything like that. You just let it dry. You take this brush, which is included, and you just kind of remove any excess dough and things like that. So if you have allergy concerns, where I made egg pasta last night, if I have someone come over who's allergic to egg and I make them egg-free pasta and roll it through this, you know, it's a possible concern. You really can't clean this to the point where you remove any allergens, things like that. Then you swipe it down with the cloth and you put it away. That's it. So this was pretty simple to clean. I'm sure that these will not be so simple to clean. Ugh. Um, same kind of thing though. You just use the brush that's included and if you need to do something with like a toothpick, you can just gently prod out any extra dough which gets caught. Um, that's really it. It comes with just, you know, a quick start guide and then actual instruction manual. I did not follow the instructions for the dough making. I used a separate recipe, which was okay. Um, definitely going to use these in the future. Really simple to use, and I didn't have any problems with them. KitchenAid also sells this one separately in case, you know, you don't want to use the cutters, or you can buy this separately. Then there's separate cutters for capellini and uh, lasagna, I believe, so different sizes. That's it. I have no complaints. Just make sure you tighten the damn bolt. Hmm.